Hello, this is Cool Luke Zero One. And here's my iPhone 4S. Now, some of you may see in my video before where I tried to scratch a iPhone 3G, it may have been a four, but it wasn't able to do it with just my standard Swiss Army knife. Uh, weren't really able to scratch it very well. Uh, today, I have this 4S here, and we're having problems with it, so I sent, I'm sending it back to Apple. And I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to try to test this a little bit further. Some people offered some options like diamonds or rocks or really different knives. And so I'm going to try just a couple different things and see if we can't scratch this thing today. Um, to start with, I have a rock. Here's a piece of taconite from my driveway. This is a byproduct of the mining process up here in the Iron Range. This is a very hard rock. It's not quite as hard as quartz, but it's really, really hard. A diamond ring. Here's my wife's engagement ring, and we're gonna try to scratch this with this thing. And actually, I know that this, well, don't want it to be a spoiler, but then I have a big knife. As you can see, this is a very large military grade uh, Glock knife, and we're gonna try to scratch this thing. Now, I'm gonna try to scratch it right off the bat with this and see what we can do. Let me pull out here just a little bit so you can still see this. I'm gonna take this and now, my biggest concern is not just punching straight through it, but I don't feel anything there. I mean, just nothing. Nothing at all. I mean, as you can see, there's, there's nothing there. I don't see anything. So, that's... I mean, I'll try this. Try the surface of it. See if there's a sharper spot, but this is a pretty sharp knife. But, I mean, there's just, you're not going to do it with a steel blade. I mean, it's just not going to happen. You can scratch that thing to your blue in the face. A rock, now that's going to have some sharp, jagged edges. I mean, this is a pretty good example. There's a few pretty sharp, sharp edges on there. But, um, zoom that in there. There we go. Get a little clearer picture here. Let's try this here. Same kind of spot. Yep. Feels... Oh, I think maybe I got it there. Yep. Definitely made a little scratch there with that sharp spot. So that's a, ooh, wow, yeah, that's a good one. So, a good hard rock can do it. Um, you're going to have to push pretty hard, and you're going to have to have just the right spot. I mean, some other spots of this that are not as, you see, these other points that aren't quite as sharp, it won't do it. So, a rock will do it, but then here, the ultimate test is, of course, the diamond. Actually, I think you can probably see this one right there. I tested it beforehand, and, uh, you know, I was a little curious to see if it would scratch, but it definitely will scratch. So, we'll go down here just like this, and you can see that, I mean, without, without much effort at all. Without much effort at all, I'm able to scratch that right there. So, diamonds will do it, certain types of rocks will do it, um, but other than that, I mean, unless you're carrying diamonds or rocks in your pocket, you're not going to scratch this thing. I mean, you could throw it across a concrete uh, and probably not scratch it. You could throw it, you know, drop it out of your pocket on the pavement, it's probably not going to happen. Uh, short of diamonds or, like I said, these really hard taconite rocks, you're probably not going to do it. Screen protectors, I don't know. I used them for a long time. They get all gungy and gummy. If you happen to get a scratch on your iPhone, well, it's better than having to deal with one of those screen protectors as far as I'm concerned. But thanks for watching. Please favorite the video and uh, look forward to your comments.